considering the fact that my previous video on image and video classification got a lot of views people were looking for video classification code in the video which was not present only the approaches were given and i couldn't make the code public because it's part of an ongoing research but i can go through some resources that were useful to me while i was working on video classification so the first one is ucf 101 data set so the first thing that we need when we need to classify or approach a particular problem is a good data set and ucf 101 is an action recognition data set which is a set of realistic action videos so my aim was self stimulatory behaviors analysis from video UCF 101 is a data set of realistic action videos which were collected from YouTube having 101 action categories which is an extension of UCF 50 which has 50 action categories. So there are total 13,320 videos in the five main categories that is human object detection, uh, interaction, body motion only, human human interaction playing musical instruments and sports. If you were looking to identify behaviors like only for sports, you could use a subset of this data set to train your model, then you could use it for classification. Similarly, if you're looking for kids activities, then you could just select the activities which have kids in all these um, videos. And you could train a model to classify those actions. Like here, if you want to classify different musical instruments which are being played, there is playing flute, playing sitar, pole, um, then there's playing guitar, playing piano, playing tabla, all this is there. So you can use subsets to create your data set in case you are you know, running out of proper data to train your model. So here is the UCF data set can be downloaded from here. The train test splits are also available. And these are some of the categories that are there. Pizza tossing, shaving, bed, skateboarding, soccer chuckling, some sports as well. And these are some statistics. So this is about UCF 101. This is the first data set that I found online and a lot of research papers had been published with UCF 101 as the data set. So there was a lot of code as well online, some of which was usable and maintained. So two of the repositories that I tried out my data set on was this one, Keras Video Classifier. And this has three different approaches. That is VGG16 plus LSTM, VGG16 plus bidirectional LSTM, and a normal simple VGG16 model. So if you create a data set which is in the format of UCF 101 data set, you can easily uh, change some code in these files to make your make this code run on your data set. So it's really easy. That can be done to see how it's working out. It has the utility functions to handle the UCF 101 data set here in this folder. So if you change these, uh, like some code in these files, you will be able to run these model, like you'll be able to train your models with your data set. So this is one.
you also know where you need to keep the data set all the locations are given okay so the next one that i looked at was this repository on github tkpel action recognition so this uses fast ai and it has these approaches a basic resnet 34 encoder with a simple attention layer over the frames a convolutional lstm and a transformer so i tried out my data set with this code and it was working pretty well so this is something that you can use as well and try out see how your data set turns out like how are the results next one resource that i completely missed out on and i didn't know is tensorflow hub coming to tf hub dot dev first let's just look at the home page yeah so here are some popular models that you will see there are a lot of uh, models available with the data set that it has been trained on for text preprocessing for image classification for object detection click on view more and here you can select your problem domain here there's a lot of like domains you can select from for text image and video for video we have only the classification so click on it and you will see these models and you can also click on it to see which are, which of the ones are fine tunable on your data set like the pre trained model can be fine tuned with your data set so you can click on one of these and all the usage like how you need to use the model the pre trained model is given here as code snippets which makes it really easy for anyone to try out video classification and if you want to check out how the model was trained you can check out this repository the links are all given here and you can also check out the collection of different models that are available so wh while i was going through my work for video classification i think these models were not available back then so one notebook that i came across from tf hub itself let's see the tf hub model yeah i3d Ky on kinetics 400 data set right so this is the one that i looked at and it has pre trained model and just the way you have pre trained models for image classification like resnet mobile net vgg16 this has a pre trained model for video classification so it's really amazing what the tensorflow hub has done and how easy it is for other people to inference the model so install all the required libraries here is some code about ucf101 dataset helper functions in ucf101 the videos are like yeah like this so this is the folder name so if your folder name is cricket shot there are several groups mostly 25 groups are there so in each group it has several videos like sub videos but it's the same scenario but different groups have different people scenarios like that. so you that's how you can create your own data set too in the format of ucf 101 by creating a folder then creating groups and like like name the videos accordingly that's what i did so here are the helper functions for ucf101 data set what you can do is you will be using the ucf101 data set so you get the list of videos in the data set 
and run the i3d model to print the top five action predictions so this is basically you check the results of ucf 101 on the pre-trained i3d kinetics 400 model yeah so you can do that with your data set too and you can also fine tune these models from the other models from TensorFlow Hub, like there are code snippets to do that as well. So yeah, all the links will be there in the description. Thank you.